Rated T for Teen. Sega. People say, hey, is, is Space Siege, um, you know, Dungeon Siege in space? Y you know, uh, absolutely not. Uh, right out of the gate, we thought, oh, let's take our existing technology. That died right away. We completely threw out our graphics engine. We rebuilt it from scratch, taking all the latest technologies and putting them to work to create a really spectacular visual uh, experience. We got rid of the multi-character party and we, we said this is about Seth Walker, an individual who's saving humanity and making these tough choices. We'd like to think of it as all the good things that we learned while doing Dungeon Siege 1 and 2, but with all the brand new ideas that really get us excited about RPGs moving forward. The way that we are telling the story in Space Siege is pretty dramatically different from what we had done in the Dungeon Siege era. Uh, we've given a name to the main character, we've given a voice to the main character. The main character is going to speak a lot, his mind, as he carries through the entire course of the events. The sci-fi realm is just ripe with all kinds of things we hadn't experimented with, bef with before. Uh, the types of interactions that you'll have, the ability to use technology, um, and the traditional things that we've seen in a lot of different media, particularly the movies. We were really excited about the multi-character party dynamic in Dungeon Siege. What we found was is that it was hard for a player to invest in just that one avatar, that one character which they tried to make their alter ego or their the representation of themselves in the world. Uh, by coming back to one character, Seth Walker, we actually have seen this clouds really uh, disappear and now we're revitalizing. We realize that there's tremendous power in having a single character to focus on. Going with a single predefined character, uh, number one, allows us to have a lot of ability to focus on the appearance of that character, make him very, all of his animations and everything that he does, uh, we can very, very well customize it. Whereas in the past, we had to worry about whether it was going to be male or female or dwarf or anything else in the Dungeon Siege examples. Predefined character buys us a lot with this game. Uh, one of the key things that it buys us is the ability to give the character a voice. We know that Seth Walker is a person. He reacts to things in a very specific way. His interactions with other characters are a really important part of telling this story. It clicks together really nicely. I mean, we're not we're not out there waving a flag saying we came up with all these ideas. We're doing what good artists do is to take the best from the things uh, that we've experienced in our life and uh, and roll it up in a fresh way and and to tell a new story uh, with components that we know people will really enjoy. <laughs> 